Hey you guys, hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, it's been been quite a few weeks since I put out a video. My last video was my collection tour. Um, life's just been crazy since then, but I uh, wanted to do a video just to catch up with all you guys. Um, I've been trying to keep up with videos as best as I can. Um, I unfortunately lost my job a couple of weeks ago, so I've been working pretty hard to try and try and rectify that over the last couple of weeks. Try and find something else, but... Uh, no luck just as yet, but um, yeah, still working towards it, and hopefully something will something will come my way very very shortly, or I'll be able to find something very very shortly. Um, but yeah, before that, it's just sort of been pretty busy, and it's uh, hard to keep up with everything sometimes. So that's that's basically it. But I uh, hope you're all doing well, guys. Um, I just wanted to share with you a few things I've uh, picked up. It's been a bit, it's going to go quiet down a little bit until I find some more work and get an income again. Um, I'm going to Oz Comic Con. I've got a bit of money money stashed away for that, so um, I was purposely saved saved up for that. So um, looking forward to catching up with Red Leader One there tomorrow afternoon, hopefully. Uh, tomorrow being Saturday, so yeah, it'll be good to catch up with him and hopefully hopefully have a good day. It should be it should be good down there. It was good last year, so um, yeah, it's been a pretty pretty eventful couple of weeks. Really, we had just had the Rogue One trailer come out last night, which was just oh, oh, <laughs> um, that was mind blowingly good. I'm so much more excited for this movie than I thought I'd be. I, you know, I was I was excited for it, but just just seeing it, wow, wow, I cannot wait. And we had the Rebels season two finale, which was unbelievable. Um, some of the some some really good Star Wars content coming out of Rebels. That show is amazing. Um, there's lots of lots of things happening, and I don't think it's going to show any signs of slowing down. But that aside, I just want to share with you a few things I've gotten over the last. Oh, it's probably been six weeks since I put a bit, put that collection tour up, uh, collection video up. So it's been a while. Um, so well, I'll start off with a few things. Um, I've sort of been dabbling in a bit of DC lately. I've been catching up with all the DC animated movies. I've got a little stack of DVDs down there. They're really pretty cheap to find too, so I've been sort of collecting them as as I find them, and I'm about halfway through, um, so just checking them out. And there's some quality quality um, DC animated movies. They do a really good job of them, so I highly recommend them. Um, I've got a few other figures I want to show off in a separate video. Um, DC figures that I've been picking up lately. But I wanted to share this one. Um, it's probably one of my favourite ones from the show Arrow, uh, Deathstroke. Slade Wilson. Um, yes, yeah, cool figure. Really, really, really happy with this guy. He looks great. So I picked him up. Oh, maybe a couple of months ago now. I may have got him before my last video. He could have been in that video. I can't remember, but he's pretty cool. Lego has been pretty quiet as well. Um, I did pick up the little Batman vs Superman set. Comes with a little base and the two little mini figures of soups and bats. So that's pretty cool. That was a cheap little set. Um, yeah, I was just having a crappy day um, last week. One day I was having a crappy day and decided to do a little bit of retail therapy and I just thought I'd pick up a cheap little Lego set just to kind of cheer me up for a while. It was good. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I just I picked this up yesterday. This is Lego Star Wars, the new Yoda Chronicles. Um, I believe Droid Tales has just come out too. I haven't seen this one in stores yet, so um, I picked that one up. So I'll probably chuck that on and have a look at that this afternoon. Um, there's only four episodes on two discs, which is strange. They could, I'm sure they could have put them on one disc, but that's pretty cool. I really liked the, um, the last few little episode mini-movie sort of things they put out, so... Lego do a great job. Um, it definitely gives you a little bit of inspiration for, for wanting to go out and buy more Lego. <laughs> They're marketing right, so that's cool. Um, I've been picking up a lot of Blu-rays recently, um, probably over the list of the last six months. I haven't really picked many up, but I picked up Spectre a couple of weeks ago. Most some of you know that I'm also a big Bond fan, so couldn't skip this. I love this movie. I still haven't sat down and watched it since I bought it, but hopefully be able to do that. And I picked up Ant-Man the other day as well. Finally came down to a reasonable price down here. Um, some retailers want $45 for it. But um, yeah, happy to pay 25 
I'm glad, I'm glad I can sit back and watch this movie again because it was a lot of fun. So that was cool. Um, now another comic book I bought was uh, Chewbacca. This is the uh, trade paperback. Uh, this was actually a cool little story. Um, it was only four or six issues, I think. Um, yeah, it was a cool little story with it around Chewbacca. So I'm all caught up with um, my trade paperbacks. I think I've got. I'm just sort of looking at them now. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think this is the ninth one. Um, Kane and Part Two. Kane and Volume Two comes out in about a month or two, I think. Um, collecting issues seven to twelve, so that'll that'll finish up Kanan's run. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, really enjoying the comic books, comic series, um, and the trade paperbacks it makes it a lot easier for me to to get get all the uh, stories. Um, this is a book I picked up from Pulp Fiction Comics, which is a comic book store in the city um, here in Adelaide, and. Uh, yeah, I found this is a really good price. It's about thirty, thirty-five dollars or something. It's um, it's like a comic, the original graphic novel of the original trilogy. Um, a nice, nice, nice hardback, and I really like the um, really like the art style. It's really, really quite cool. Um, I'll see if I can go to just so I'll just show you a few images. That's obviously the det detention block. And, uh, yeah, I haven't sat down and read through it yet, but, uh, I'd like to do it very, very soon. So we've got some Cloud City there. I just really like the art style. It was a really nice presented book, and it looks really nice, and, um, excited they're doing the prequel trilogy as well, so that's cool. Um, also, Hot Wheels. Not many of these sort of coming out lately. I haven't seen any for a little while, especially the vehicles, um... But I did get the little episode seven Han Solo car. If that's showing up, okay. I'm doing all this on my phone, and uh, the front camera is definitely not the same quality as the back camera. But that looks cool. I was really excited to see that. So I've only a few of these behind now. So I'll catch so, so, sort of catching up on them a little bit as I see them um, if they're on sale. Um, and yeah, what else? Yesterday, when I picked up that little Lego DVD, oh, I've got the 12-inch uh, Kylo Ren, the, you know, this is like the $10, $15 one. Uh, just, I've been, I've been looking at it for a long time, and I decided to finally grab it, and he looks cool next to my Phasma, so, yeah, I really, I really like Kylo Ren, so I decided I'd grab that. Yeah, he looks cool. Wish his arms were sort of staunched out a little bit more that would have been cool but he looks all right he has a cool display piece so he looks cool in the room um recently on instagram i've got a buddy on instagram um a big marvel legends collector he just recently started selling off all his three and three quarter inch star wars figures and he sent me a stack of pictures of all of his figures and asked me to pick some out so we basically just did a straight trade i sold i got swapped in basically pretty much the rest of my marvel legends Except what you see on that shelf there, there's a few on there, um, a few of my favourites. But um, yeah, we just did a straight swap and I got some really good figures that I've been hunting for for a long time. Um, filled some nice holes in my collection. Um, it, it was it was a good good deal and he's a really good dude. We've done a few trades before, so um, I'll give you a bit of a rundown. I'm pretty sure there was more. Um, I've just got ones I, I remembered. This was a few weeks ago now. But... Um, to start off, got the Cad Bane in the Clone Troop armor from the Clone Wars. I'm going to flick this light on a bit. If it wants to focus, it doesn't like auto-focusing at the front. Anyway, you get the point. So that's the Cad Bane in the armor. Comes with the little holocron in the backpack too. So he's cool. I was really excited to finally have that one. I just never got him. Um, I had him a while ago. I think I traded him away. It was that was quite a few years ago now. But um, also got the Snow Rex. So I need to find the just the plain Snow Clone from that uh, Auto Plutonia. I think it was called. I can't remember now. But the uh, Snow Anakin and the Snow Re uh, Snow Obi Wan were two of the first Clone Wars figures I bought. Um, 
And I remember seeing this guy at the same time, and um, I just never got him until now. And this is a really good figure. I really like uh, Snow Rex. So that was the last Rex I needed. Um, he gave me two of these Incinerator Troopers, the Incinerator Stormtroopers from The Force Awakens. Oh, sorry, Force Awakens, Force Unleashed. Still doing it, still saying the wrong one, and it will always be that way. But, <laughs> yeah, excited to grab a couple of these guys. The other one's up on my shelf, so. Awesome. These are cool figures, I like, this. I like the red. That's awesome. Um, he also sent me three of the Rebel Fleet Troopers. I've just got one here. But this is the uh, vintage collection one. So I've got four of these guys now, so I've got a nice little squad to take on a group of Stormtroopers. And um, yeah, at sta some stage I'll uh, make up a little scene. A little diorama. Especially fitting we're going to be seeing these guys in Rogue One, so that's cool. It's awesome. Got this little droid, I can never remember its name. I just call it the uh, iRobot, the little iRobot Roomba, Roomba, little vacuum cleaner. Droid runs around your house and sucks off all the dust, gets under your couches and stuff. So it's part of the um, Jawa sale. So he's cool. It's got like that little droid. Another Clone Wars figure that I didn't have, the Space Ahsoka. This is the last Ahsoka I needed. Again, just another figure I never picked up. Never really worried about it until he he uh, had it on his list. And I thought, well, well, I need that one. I'll grab him. So he that I'll grab her. <laughs> She's a cool figure. Um, not bad. I just need to get the uh, the Space Obi Wan now. I think. Um, one of the greatest figures he sent me was the uh, pre Cyborg Grievous. This is a great figure. An absolute monster too. Um, yeah, I was re really surprised he was off offering this one up. Um, this is another figure that's, I wouldn't say eluded me, eluded me for a long time, but it's just one I haven't gone and picked up. And uh, yeah, definitely couldn't say no to it this time. So I'm really, really stoked to have this figure. He is great. Um, so I'm really, really, really chuffed with this one. He looks awesome. So he looks good on the uh, Legends EU shelf. Now, I almost finished my Jabba's Palace. I need two more guys. Because he sent me um, Bubo, the frog dog. And I've already got the uh, Boma Monk. So I didn't need the other one that came in the three pack with this guy. And uh, Wall Cabashite, which is this little sucky thing that sits on the roof and uh, he just wags his tongue around. So these two have been evading me for a long time for a good price. I mean, they're easy to find, easy enough to find on, on online, but uh, not paying those prices. And uh, he picked this pack up in a deal a couple of years ago and he's had it just sort of sitting around. And uh, I said, I wouldn't mind grabbing that one off you. And he was, he was more than happy to uh, open it up and send these two my way. So I'm really stoked. All I need now for Jabba's Palace, out of, you know, out of figures they've released, is um, the Nick Toe Gunner, I think his name's Nysad, and uh, Ishi Tib. So Ishi Tib shouldn't be too hard to find for a good price, but the other one, he's a little bit more pricier. So um, so yeah, they're the last two figures I need for basically all the Jabba's Palace figures. Um, I'm up to date with Cantina. Um, yeah, so that's basically been, that's it, guys. That's basically what's been happening with me and my life. Um, it's been a bit of a pain in the bum the last couple of weeks without work. Um, just getting a little bit cabin fever and a little bit depressed at home. Just sort of kicking around. I'm trying to keep as busy as I can. Um, just keep moving and keep doing things and keep the yard tidy and the house clean and just keep looking for jobs as they pop up and hopefully something will pop up in the next couple of weeks. Um, really hoping. <laughs> I need money. I really do. It's unfortunate, but we need it. Um... So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're doing really well. I want to record a few videos today um, to get up. Now that I've got a bit of time, I'll sit down, relax, and have some fun, watch some videos, make some myself. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you're doing really, really well. Drop a comment below. Um, let's have a chat. Awesome. Take it easy, guys. We'll see you real soon.